having the UI ready, now we can transition from our categories to this view here. In order to do that, we're going to go to our categories collection view controller and right after our cell here, I'm going to write another uh, function and let's put a mark here and this is going to be UI collection view delegate. So we need the function that will uh, notify us every time our user clicks specific cell in our collection view. So it called did select item at index path. And here, what we are going to do is to perform a specific segue that we have created. So we are going to say perform segue with identifier and our identifier is going to be our segue name. I uh, suggest you copy and paste this from your uh, main storyboard here, select it and copy and paste the segue name in order not to have any uh, spelling mistakes. Otherwise, it's going to crash your application. And the sender is going to be our uh, index path. We are going to set specific category that is going to send this. So how we are going to get this category thing that we are sending is basically we have access to our index path and we have the array of all categories. The same way we are getting the category here to generate the cell, we are going to do it right here. So we say category array index path dot row so that we can pass our category to our segue as well. We need the category in order to get all the items belonging to that specific category in our next view controller. So uh, once we call our segue here, this will do the transition, but uh, we need to write some code in order to uh, pass this category into our next view because by default, this is not going to happen. So I'm going to put another mark here called this navigation. And I'm going to say prepare for segue with identifier. So this function will be called every time the segue is going to happen. So a few seconds before our segue happen, what we want to do is to pass this category that we are giving to our segue here to the new view that we are going to transition from our category, which is our items view. So when you are using this prepare segue function, it's always a good idea to check which segue is being called. Because even if you had more than one segue here, from one view to another, every time a segue is called, this function will be called before the segue happens. So it's always a good idea to make sure which of the segues is being called, even though in our case we have only one segue, so there is no other options going to happen. Again, we are going to write the if statement in case in the future you change your code, you are not going to crash your application. So we say if segue dot destination I'm, I'm sorry, not destination, the identifier. We say if segue identifier is equals, and we are going to copy and paste again our segue identifier. So this way we are sure that the segue we are talking about is the category to items segue. Then we are going to create a view controller. We call it let VC, short for view controller, is equals to segue dot destination view controller, which is our destination in short. And we're going to specify that this is going to be a specific view controller because we know where this segue is leading and it's going to lead us to our item view controller. But right now we have no file uh, controller to control this view. We just did the storyboard. So let's create a view controller. So select our category, command N, and this is going to be a Coco Touch class. Click next. And subclass is going to be UI table view controller. And this is going to be called items, plural. Items table view controller. 
click next and click enter to create this. So now we have this items table view controller and from our category we can say that the destination of this uh, segue is an items table view controller. And once we do it, we will have access of our items table view controller because we are creating an instance of it here. But before we go any further, make sure you go here to our storyboard, select your table view controller, go to the class inspector here and set the items table view controller as the class of this view controller. Otherwise, it's going to crash your application. All right, and then uh, we can move to our categories here. There is one more line missing in order to finish our uh, transition of our uh, segue, because here we are receiving our sender, which we are passing here as a category. So now we have a category and we need to give it to our view controller, which is our items table view controller. And in order to do that, in our items table view controller, we are going to create a variable so we can uh, assign the value of our variable and the name let me just quickly put a mark here call these vars and it's going to be variable category and this is going to be a type of category and it's going to be an optional so if i command p just to build my project so um, all my new files are there. Once we go back to our category segue, we can say that the VC dot, and now we have access to our category variable here, is equals to sender, because our sender is here any, optional, but we are sending a category. So we can say it, it's equals to sender, and since we are sure that it's a type of category, we can downcast it to category. So we force unwrap our sender and say that this is a category object. And in order to make sure everything is working, what I want to do here in my view did load for my items table view controller is say print. Uh, we have select and then we're going to say category dot name and let's run our application so we have all categories let's select the men's clothing and here you will see an option uh, print out that we have selected optional men's clothing and accessories and you can see we are in our table view, which is empty. Let's select uh, baby stuff. It says you have selected, and it says optional baby stuff. Uh, it's print out optional because our category is optional. We are going to force unwrap this in order to print without this optional word. But since this is not used for now, we're going to leave as it is. We were just checking if the category is passed to our view here. And once uh, we have passed it, we can start getting the information about specific category.